Hey everybody, PTMC 1984 again. Today I'm going to be doing a special video showing off two sets of uh, vehicles from Mattel's uh, entry. Uh, these are two kind of controversial sets that have uh, recently come out in uh, late December, early, early, they were, yeah, late December 2017, early January 2018 is when these sets started coming out. And there's a little bit of controversy on both of them, and I'll get to them in, when time comes. But the set that I'm going to be doing is the Matchbox Chevrolet Trucks 100 Years uh, Anniversary set. And the Hot Wheels 50th Anniversary Black Card Premium set. I don't know how Hot Wheels is actually uh, re uh, regarding those. So. But anyway, uh, first up I will show you the truck set and why there was a controversy with this set. But now it's kind of been rectified. So anyway, first up is the Chevy or 1970 Chevy El Camino and this beautiful kind of uh, lime or dark or I don't know what you would call it it's a green like a forestry green gold green but you can see the beautiful artwork on the packaging uh, I know some people aren't card collectors but this would definitely be one you'd probably want to save the card art for this series uh, you can see like a Pacific Coast maybe California Kind of looks like the road that was uh, used in Austin Powers uh, a couple times. No way jokes, you know, you know, Southern England looks nothing like, you know, Southern California. <laughs> but you got the image of the car, beautiful artwork, and you got the car itself, or truck. Um, you get the anniversary logo on the rear section. You get a little bit of a silver accent on the upper part. You do get a silver uh, El Camino SS on the... Uh, door you get a little like what would be a marker light on it i guess all done in silver a little silver trim on the bottom no headlight no taillight tampos which is kind of it uh bad i wish it would do something with this even though it is a 94 cent car i can understand why they're not going to put you know a ton of detail on a cheap car you do get the uh hood scoops now this is an older casting that they've had for quite a while, since like 1997, it was retooled in 2015. I think Matchbox should really come back out and redo this tooling, because or redo uh, a new El Camino. It improved since, you know, 97 uh, significantly. They need to redo this car. Um, retool it, make it less goofy looking. You know, it looks like a cartoonish car, but you know. Anyway, so that is the El Camino. Here, next up is the 75 Chevy Stepside, and I love this truck. The artwork, once again, knocked out of the park. Kind of looks like the Colorado Rockies, I believe. You know, kind of like maybe downtown Colorado Aspen area with the uh, uh, background. Love the truck uh, image. Nice uh, maroonish red, dark red, gold red, I guess. Uh, or brown, depending on how you can actually see the colors. It's got like a gold flake in it. Really beautiful. I love the uh, detail, or the, not detail, well, the, the tampos on the side, uh, really beautiful, uh, does look like, you know, your average, you know, work truck, it does have, focus please, the Chevy 100 year logo, it's got the logo right there, uh, it says Chevrolet, it's, uh, Chevy trucks, I'm trying to see it. Oh, it says Silverado. I don't know why it, it looks like it doesn't say Silverado on the side. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Um, I need to get my eyes checked one these days. Uh, beautiful. No tampos on the rear. They didn't really pick out the Chevy on the back. No tampo print on the uh, headlight, taillight, or headlight turn signals. Uh, they do have the marker lights painted. This one's kind of off on this side. A little bit didn't get enough red paint. It's got like the, the both El Camino and this one have the knockoff rims, uh, knockoff rims. Um, one thing I would like, you know, Matchbox, you know, if they see this or whatever, is they do need to replace or need to cover up that uh, uh, sunroof. Um, that's like totally an aftermarket <laughs> uh, deal and that would not be on the truck as a stock truck. At least I don't think so. Not one of all the ones I've seen on, you know, in public. I've never seen a stock truck with that. Sunroof. Next up, uh, in my kind of neck of the woods, is the Chevy 4x4 Off-Road. Z, uh, the Z71 Off-Road. Beautiful presentation, again, on the card art. Now, this does look like maybe an, a Utah, um, New Mexico, Arizona 
uh, area, probably more Utah because you do see a little bit of the tree landscaping in the background. And Arizona doesn't really have that kind of lush trees in their deserts. We do have trees in the desert, but they're not like that. There's cactuses I'd probably put this more, you know, maybe more down to the Mexico Arizona border. This is probably up in your Utah type of thing. You do get some uh, hints of other vehicles in the background. Uh, a couple other trucks in the back. And here is the truck itself. Really like this dark green. Really like that little racing inspired off road um, stuff. You know, MXB 4x4 off road. Uh, BF Goodwrench um, logos. A couple other ones that I'm not familiar. Lugo lips and. Something else, I really can't read the uh, writing, but really nice. Like the off-road tires. Once again, no detail on the headlights. Taillights, no Chevy print on the back, but I guess they use up all their paint on the, the tampos. Um, this is definitely another one of those old retooled uh, castings they've done. Let's see if I can see it. Uh, um, let's see. Can't really... Tell I know it's blocking, but it was retooled. It used to be like the uh, the light bar, roll bar. It used to be a separate little piece, and now they've kind of all integrated into the interior. You know, it is what it is. You know, times change. Next up, I know a certain uh, guy on YouTube is probably uh, going to be going crazy over these. Probably going to have a video all about this one probably in the thumbnail and everything like that it is the o2 chevy avalanche we got this one earlier last year or late last year early this year with the pink one and now we get it again in this blue definitely a downtown vibe um can't really tell where down what this would be uh definitely like a city maybe new york or chicago i think in new york Looks like the Empire State Building. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, but a nice downtown cityscape. I really can't tell within the reflection. So it is a down, like maybe back east, but beautiful truck. Now this does have uh, painted headlights and uh, get focus headlights. The center bar bow tie. Tail lights, golden Chevy logo. It does have the Chevy emblem or Chevy 100 year patch on, or patch, but lo, uh, emblem on the back. Uh, nothing on the deep, you know, no, doesn't say avalanche on the side, but it does have the uh, gray plastic bits. All part of the interior or part of the base, of course, the gray. But I like this. Um, I like it looking stock. I mean, there's no, you know, I like the other two trucks, but it doesn't really pronounce that Chevy 100 year logo on. That and that is an easy if you just get a little bit of a uh, rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip, and if you're careful, if you open this up, you can easily remove that hundred-year logo. If you want this to be a full stock truck, you know. I wish that the the tampos, the taillights had covered across the back, but I know that they have a certain uh, printing uh, surface area they can do on what they can, you know. So. so Shame that that one didn't get the uh, full tampos. Next up is the 14 Chevy Silverado. And this is another one that lacks... Well, it it's kind of needs more detail. Uh, this is definitely would be Arizona or maybe Utah. Down below. This is probably Arizona in the Grand Canyon area. The painted... Yeah, I think this is definitely Arizona with the painted desert. Uh, looking... Uh, definitely Grand Canyon area up north in the, or more, yeah, upper north west of Arizona. Beautiful landscape. If you ever go out there, I highly recommend it. One of those, you know, bucket list things. But anyway, uh, beautiful artwork on the, this, the front. And now we're going to get to the truck, actually. A nice graphite color. It does have painted headlights. Uh, bow tie. 100th anniversary. <laughs> um logo license plate let me see if i uh just says matchbox i believe on the uh license plate if i can't get the focus and see it yeah i think it definitely says like matchbox or chevy uh, on it you do get your uh silverado your taillight 
bow tie, two tone bow tie. You got your uh, silver outline and gold inlay or gold inner tail lights, 100 year anniversary Silverado logo. Uh, really nice truck. Um, it does lack a little bit of detail. I mean, I wish Matchbox would make this a little bit of big of a truck, but I guess they're doing what they're doing. So, another beautiful truck. Now, last but not least in this lineup is the controversial truck. Now, when these first hit shelves, pegs, there was only five trucks, but on the back showed a sixth truck. And for the longest time since they've come up, people, even I've opened up cases, other people have opened up cases, one truck was missing, and that was this one, the 47 Chevy AD 3100. This is a brand new casting to Matchbox. This is debuting in this lineup, and this one was missing. Now, uh, February 4th, I hit a, a Walmart early in the morning, and it just put these out, and this truck was there. Uh, this whole set was there, and I'd been holding off getting the set because this truck was missing. And then they finally released the truck. And there's, I've seen a couple people actually have found two of these. I found two of them on the peg. So apparently they're double packing these trucks so they can make up for people that may have gotten a set beforehand and were missing it. So there's extra. So if you miss a set, there's one for you. And if you didn't get it, you can get it now. And But I love this. Uh, this is definitely your uh, Midwest, uh, maybe Oklahoma. A lot of farming country up here, so this is beautiful if you're, you know, especially a farmer. And I love the truck. Um, I I'm glad to see this is now in Matchbox's lineup. Can't wait to see what they're going to do with it uh, from, the, you know, in future releases. I did get a couple of them, so I am going to do some customs. So if I get back to, you know, showcasing customs here on YouTube, I will uh, show them off. Uh, I love the Matchbox. Uh, if you can actually focus, the Matchbox Auto Repair. We only use genuine Chevy parts. Definitely a throwback to the original uh, advertisements. Uh, and I'm not too, you know, you know, the pinstriping, I guess, works a little bit. You get your 100-year Chevy anniversary logo there. The pinstriping, that doesn't quite line up on this truck. Uh, let me see if I, my other one. Yeah, apparently they're not really lining up on <laughs> these things. But I love this truck. And I love how they did the dog dishes. Uh, I don't think I've really seen the Poverties without the center chrome or a, a, a center painted. I like this the, the wheel lip, so it kind of looks like, you know, Steely's, even though they don't really make a Steely. I wish Matchbox make a Steely. You get a nice uh, bed. They're, it's not lowered. It's not, you know, jacked up yet. Uh, give it time. It's not like the La Troca or La Troca from Hot Wheels that has, you know, it's lowered, but beautiful. You got, you know... Focus, please. You got the emblems painted. You got your headlights. The logos here. No taillight and no Chevy logo highlighted on the back, which is a real miss. I wish they'd put the Chevy logo as a, at least a either in a printed, uh, you know, raised lettering or even a tampo. That's what's missing on this truck. But other than that, this is a perfect one. So, as you can see, this is all six trucks together. Now, I said if you missed out definitely start checking your walmarts or wherever you know your grocery stores which sell these that chevy truck is out now out i you know when i first got it early in the morning yesterday only one or two posts were done on ebay for that truck now there's a few more listings and only one other uh so far you know as i'm filming this someone else is probably going to do another video but only one other channel had it the lamely group had when they got their box from uh, Mattel Matchbox, had the truck, and that was the only time I'd really seen it. So, already been really shown. So, that is the Chevy trucks. Now, next up, I will be showing off the Hot Wheels 50th anniversary black cards or premium special editions, whatever. And this one has a controversy as I get to it as I go on. So, first up, number one of six in a beautiful black gold. And if you can, can't can really tell, the car is raised. The Hot Wheels logo 50th anniversary is a raised. The back of the card is not. It's more glossier on the car. It's highlighted with the gold uh, paint. Is 
The Bone Shaker, a fan favorite to say the least, in a beautiful black and gold. 50th anniversary, gold base, the Steelies with gold rims. Uh, now, these did come out late December, early January, uh, but they didn't really hit the short stores as normal releases. Um, not too many, like, Fry's, Kroger's got them, Walmart's really didn't get them, Target's didn't get them, Kmart's, if you're still around, Kmart's didn't get them, Toys R Us didn't get them. These were being fam found in Family Dollar stores, so... Uh, I don't know what, if these are Family Dollar exclusives, and it, Hot Wheels never said anything, but they were, uh, really tough to find. So I ended up going to a couple Family Dollars and finally finding a set, so, uh, yeah, so anyway... Next up, another fan favorite, Twin Meal, from one of the early releases, the second year of the Red Lines. This came out in 1969. Uh, you see, this does still have the uh, uh, metal base. This has been, uh, see, it's got, this is a, blah, 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 uh, retooled at least three times from 69, 2011, and 2014. Uh, so I don't know what they all changed. I think they changed, you know, some of the little, little engines, probably, and how everything was set up, but beautiful black and gold again, flat black gold, the blue uh, striping, gold striping, gold interior, gold wheels. Uh, I think, and the windows are a tinted gold, but it kind of works since the interior is going to be gold, so it kind of masks it. And once again, the highlight of the car is done in a glossy black with gold outline. Uh, yes, that is a really cool vehicle. Next up is the Roger Dodger, another early release of Hot Wheels. This one, uh, a lot of people don't like. Uh, there are Roger Dodger fans, don't get me wrong, but when it was retooled to this, people did not like having these side pipes coming out. Roger Dodger should have the pipes coming out from the, the hood. I guess... They needed to retool it for whatever reason, which is kind of messed up because uh, these pipes now stick out a lot further. And if people have like booster sets for Hot Wheels tracks, these pipes are going to get caught right in those boosters. And instead of the wheels getting knocked around on the track, it's these uh, pipes which drag across tracks. And cause issues if you're drag racing these things. The original Roger Dodger was a lot better in my opinion. But I wish they would used that the tooling for this. But I guess that tooling is finally broken. But once again, flat black paint. Gold and blue tampos. 50th anniversary. Gold windows. Gold interior. Gold engine. Gold base. They like gold. Next up um, is the 68 Dodge Dart. Uh, definitely interesting, definitely going more into the newer, uh, I think this is like, yeah, the, the 2010s, the Millennium, after the Millennium, so the newer designs that kind of brought back an old classic car, really beautiful, uh, muscle car, see, beautiful chrome gold, uh, base, the other ones either black or gold plastic, really nice interior, yeah, that, that weird goldy color, Yellow tinted windows. Yeah, it is what it is. But luckily the gold kind of masks it, so you really can't tell too bad. Uh, just on the, the tampos on this one are just on the stripe, or on the sides. you got your, Dart, your Dodge logo. Beautiful car. That was number four. Number five, getting down the line, the 64 Impala. Uh, another fan favorite. Uh... Return of really, I haven't really seen these lace wheels in a long time. Uh, at least to me, you know, seeing them. It's nice to see those lace wheels. Gold chrome. Uh, no detail, you know, paint anywhere else on the car except for what's on the tampos, which is kind of a shame, you know, but it is what it is. Once again, the car outline in gold and black. This is kind of like the Star Wars. Uh, cards, you know, the Blur Black series for their action figures that kind of have that same kind of effect. Next up is 6 of 6, the four, 65 Ford Ranchero. 
and really nice car. Um, I don't know if I would have picked the Ranchero, you know, out of this lineup, I would have picked more cars maybe that represented the early years of Hot Wheels. Uh, you got a couple of, you know, you got one, you got two classic cars, you know, the, El the Roger Dodger and Twin Mill, but that's it. Um, you don't get any other, you know, I wish it had gone back in a category, you know, Bone Shaker's good, but I wish it had gone back and actually gone to, like, the early years. I know we're going to get that in, like, another set with the little buttons and stuff like that, but, yeah. Some of these cars were, have been repeated for other series, so I wish it probably brought something new out, but, uh, anyway, you know, once again, car, uh, all nice and decked out, flat black on the paint job, 50th anniversary, yeah, gold or yellow gold windows. This one's got the uh, gold pearl base, and the interior is going to be the gold chrome. So yeah, and uh, funny thing on the back of uh, Ranchero versus all the other cards except for the Bone Shaker. Um, Hot Wheels kind of uh, made a boo boo because um, they put two different Rancheros on the back of the cards. Uh, the the bone shaker, I guess they really want people to know they get a bone shaker by just the back of the card. So if it's hanging it backwards and you see two bone shakers, you don't have to flip the card around. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Alright. Now, the, there is a controversy kind of with these, you know, cards as... Uh, everything's falling out. Cards, well, because there is one extra car that people are going for and they're, you know, which makes 70 sets... Either super cheap or super expensive, and that is the unmarked seven of se or the seventh car, and that is the gold chrome Chevy Camaro 67, 67 Camaro staple from the very first release of Hot Wheels. There is no number on this card. Once again, like I said, the beautiful gold and black detail. Uh, instead of it being a black body it is gold chrome it's this is the door line door handle but unfortunately this is the plastic bodied car this is not metal you can tell by the way that the uh, rivets are with a little bit of extra f junk on it and you can tell the base is metal you know just by the way it looks unfortunately it could have gone back to where the summit car was a couple years ago in 2013 it had the door lines Technically, so far, that's the only way you can get a door line is the Summit uh, regular Camaro. But, you know, I guess now you can get a door line, you know. But a beautiful chrome color. Now, I have seen a few people that actually have had gotten these. These tampos are kind of uh, really jank on a few of them. <laughs> seen a bunch where like, the, the logo is like, almost halfway off the car. But, it, you know, it was nice to actually get the full set of cars so that is my look on the 50th anniversary hot wheel set and the 100 year chevy truck set from matchbox now um the 50th anniversaries are showing up at family dollar they're going fast when you if they when they get them either the employees are getting them or people are staking out family dollar so uh, you'll find a few of them the camaro is short packed i think you get like to each of the cars and like one Camaro so uh, good luck if you're hunting those things um, eBay prices are going through the roof right now so if you can hold off wait a little bit to see if other stores will eventually get the 50th anniversary logo cars um, or black cards um, there'll be other 50th anniversary sets coming out as the year goes on so you know, hold off you try to get those when you can. The Chevy trucks are starting to pop up. And hopefully, you know, hopefully not, you know. Yes, I know, hopefully. Uh, maybe they'll be like the Jeep sets that are still coming out, Matchbox. I'm still seeing cases of Jeeps. The Land Rover's only got like one or two cases. And I'm still seeing Jeeps, 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 Jeeps. They're hanging, clogging the pegs. You know, maybe that the now that they're re-releasing the Chevy... 47 Chevy truck. They'll release more of these trucks. Maybe there'll be more on the peg. So now I got a couple of them because I'm going to custom them. I'm not looking to resell them. So I'm not trading them. That's why I got them because I'm going to, you know, they're personally for my collection. But if you're not, please leave a couple on like one or, you know, if you find a couple like um, Toy Galaxy or not Toy Galaxy. Yeah, Toy Galaxy 
Dan says, you find two, take one, leave one on the peg. Let's try to make the 50th anniversary for Hot Wheels a little bit better. Spread the joy. If you find a few extra cars, leave them on the peg so people don't have to spend extra money on eBay prices, shipping. It just makes everything a lot better. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I will be back again. Uh, don't know how soon it will be, especially now that, you know, Soapbox here at the end of the video. You can turn off the video now if you want to. With the new regulations of uh, uh, YouTube, I will be losing my monetization. So longer videos are going to go away. Custom thumbnails are going to be going away until I can kind of meet that criteria. I don't expect to. If I don't, I don't. I was going to make a video before about it, but you know what? It is what it is. I didn't do this for money. I did it for fun to show off my collection. Stuff like that, so, um, yeah, so, depending on how things go after February, depending on how I do, you know, how my stuff is set up, who knows, so, I'll definitely be back again some point in the future, don't know when, so look for another video, so, thanks for watching, everybody, sorry for a long video, but I just want to show off two sets, while well, I still had a chance to make custom thumbnails, so, thanks for watching, everybody, have a good day.